Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this brand new sports video action camera. It's made by a company called Geek Pro. I got this item on Amazon.com and I'll put the link in the description below. Now this camera comes in this very nice travel hard case. So let me open this up and I'll show you what's inside. Here is the action camera. Now this camera has a front display and a back display. It uses a Sony IMX078 CMOS sensor. The lens on it is 170 degrees wide angle. It shoots in 4K at 25 frames per second or 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Also 1080p at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second. Here's the battery. It comes with many accessories for different mounting options. This is a bike mount. Here we have a tripod mount. Several bases with double sided tape. This adapter is for a windshield mount. Here is a clip for mounting on your chest or on your belt. This is an AC adapter for charging the battery. This is a belt clip. On the right side here we have some straps. Tie wraps. Microfiber cloth. USB cable with a micro USB connector. This is the user guide. So here are all the parts you get with this camera. Now I want to point out that it also has a remote control that you can wear on your wrist to control the camera. Very nice. The battery that's used in the camera is a 3.7 volt 1050 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. So let's take a closer look at the camera itself. To open the unit up, flip this top latch. camera comes out. On the front we have the power mode button. This is a status display. On the side this is the Wi-Fi button. On the top this is the shutter button. This is a speaker. On the side this is the microphone. Over here is the micro SD slot. This one is the HDMI port and this is the micro USB port. To open up the battery compartment, remove this cover and then we'll slide this battery in. Put the cover back on. Now we empower this up. To charge a camera, Take the AC adapter, plug in the USB cable, and then plug this cable to the side. To install the memory card into the camera, on the side there is a slot right here. Insert the memory card into the slot and push it in. It'll lock it in place. Now if you want to turn on the camera, press and hold the power button for about a second. On the front of the camera, it will display the battery level, whether the Wi-Fi is on or off, what mode is in, currently is in video mode, and the resolution of the recording, which is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now if you want to turn off the unit, press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds. And right now we're in the video recording mode. You can press the shutter button on the top to start recording. Press it again to stop recording. If you press the mode button, now we're in the photo mode. 
Press the shutter button to take a picture. Press the mode button. The next one, this is the burst photo. Burst photo will allow you to take three consecutive pictures. The next mode, this is the time lapse mode. You can set this to take a picture every two seconds, three seconds, or five seconds, or nine seconds. Press the mode button. And this is the VR 360 mode. Now this mode requires the use of the app for it to work. Press the mode button. This is the video playback mode. Here you can select by pressing the shutter button. Now if you want to go back and exit, press the Wi-Fi button on the side. Press the mode button. Now we're in the photo playback mode. Now we're in the settings mode. To select the settings mode, press the shutter button. Here we have the video resolution. Press the shutter button to enter. Now you can select different resolution for the video. Next one is photo resolution. Here you can set the resolution for the photos. Loop video on or off. Metering. Center, multi, or spot. Timestamp. If you want to add a timestamp to your video. Exposure. This is the exposure compensation. By default is zero. Burst mode. This will take three photos when you're in the burst mode. Time lapse. Here you can select 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. Continuous lap. Power frequency. 50 hertz, 60 hertz, or auto. Language. Day and time. Sound indicator. Here you can turn on and off the shutter, the startup sound, or the beeping sound, and the volume. Upside down. If you want the video to be upside down. Screensaver. Right now it's set to one minute, so after a minute, this LCD will turn off, even though the camera is still on. Power save. Here you can turn off the power saving mode, or by default it's set to three minutes. Format to format your micro SD card. Reset to reset the camera. And here's the version. One very nice feature about this camera is that it comes with a remote control. This remote control do not require a line of sight to work. It works by RF. So if you press the red button here, it will take a picture. If you press the gray button, it will start recording. Press it again, it will stop the recording. If you're using an Android phone, scan the QR code in the manual. It will open up the Google Play Store and take you to Control View Share app. Go ahead and install this. To turn on the Wi-Fi on the camera to connect to your smartphone, there's a Wi-Fi button on the side right here. Press this once and you'll see the message comes up waiting for Wi-Fi connection. Also on the front display, you'll see the Wi-Fi scanning. Now go to your phone and connect using your phone to this camera. So here this is the iCam HAR. Select that. Connect. Here it shows that it's connected now. Now we'll open up the Easy iCam. In the app, press Add Devices. Here we'll select the iCam HAR. 
So as you can see, I have remote viewing of the camera and I can press the record button to begin recording. To stop the recording, press the record button one more time. To exit this view, then I'll disconnect the phone from the camera. Now if you want to re-establish the connection, press the device one more time and it'll connect back to the camera. The remote comes with a velcro strap which you can use to put on your wrist and here's what it looks like. Using a suction mount which is not included with this camera, I'm going to mount this camera in various locations on the vehicle and give you some sample shots of what the video looks like. Now keep in mind even though this camera can record in 4K, the video editing software that I'm using does not support 4K. So what I might do is in a separate video I'll upload a raw footage in 4K. Here the camera is mounted inside the vehicle. As you can see, this Geek Pro action camera records very good quality video. The exposure, the color, everything is really nice. Also comes with this very nice hard travel case. And don't forget the remote control that makes things very convenient. The app I tested works very well. It connected every time when I needed to connect. And it has remote viewing. Overall, this is a very good camera. And I do recommend it if you're in the market for one of these cameras. And if you're interested in buying this camera, I'll put a link for this item in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.